Welcome engineers and professionals to our comprehensive course, Understanding P&ID Details, Operational and Safety Guidelines. Have you ever wondered what is distinguishing the PFD from the P&ID and why the P&ID shows much more details than a PFD? Well, you are in the right place. In this course, we will guide you through the essentials of the P&ID interpretation and what basis these details are based on. In the beginning, we shall see how to identify details on the P&ID that are related to piping and fittings, instruments, control and shutdown systems, and valves. We will explore the role of P&ID in the project, the structure of the P&IDs, and their different types. We shall discover the different P&ID issuance purposes and how they impact the information shown. Now, let's answer the question of why. We'll cover the common practices used to ease the plant operation. We shall learn how to track the equipment performance effectively, isolate equipment for maintenance, and ensure proper system drainage. We shall also discuss the importance of steam purging, plant shutdown, and depressurization. As safety is an essential part of P&ID preparation, we'll explore potential hazards and learn about the layers of protection that are followed. Should we use shutdown and trip actions or rely on pressure safety valves? Or maybe we can ensure that our system is already safe by specifying design pressure and temperature that can handle the worst case scenarios. What are the fail-safe positions of a valve? Is our protection enough? This shall lead us to dive into the safety studies commonly conducted in projects such as HAZOP and CELL. We shall discover how these studies assess the effectiveness of protections in the P&IDs. We shall have practical examples for HAZOP and CELL assessment of P&ID designs. So don't miss this opportunity to expand your knowledge and see you in the course.